Uh, okay, Noah, where are we at? Okay, so, <laughs> you know, we're at, um, wait, are we allowed to say? Yeah, it, 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 this part's not going to air till later on. Oh, okay. So, we are at our newest member, you know, Chris. He's cooking us um, some brunch tonight at his house <laughs> here in... It's Sunday. Sun. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's the afternoon, pay it. Um, yes, yeah, so we're at his house. He's cooking us some food. You know, we've heard that he's like the world-renowned chef in a minute. <laughs> So, you know, hopefully it, it meets the expectation. And we'll always come bearing gifts. we a nice little rum keg. Yes. Uh, and uh, Mario looked like he's going to a little club in the daytime. But hey, fuck it. He's an all black like the almond, bitch. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so how'd you feel? So aftermath in the ball, give it, to, give me in one word, describe your, how you felt about last night. Um, she said dragged out. Ooh. That's two words, bitch, but okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> of the year. Oh. That's three, bitch. Oh, chopped. Oh. Ah, wow. Ah, okay. I'm over here with the legend Lamar. That was Kyrie. Oh, well, he was trying to take me where you was at? Uh -huh. I'm here, bitch. <laughs> yeah, he just told me too. Yeah. Uh, what's up? What's up? Hi, my baby. What's going on? Hey, take the hello to the people, legendary Lamar. What's up, everyone? What's going on? You know, I was listening to something. Thing. It was Octavia's thing. Uh -huh. I guess, um, the video. But, you know, everything come right. Oh, that's this. You know where she got that from? Her yeah. affair with Eddie Murphy. Yeah. Hey, we'll go back to go in and it we'll be right back. That's such a perfect. Perfect. I never want to always look like I don't Who are you? Yes. I got this up for you, nigga. Y'all already know. Don't need no introduction. I'm going to give you all one. Look at calling my phone. Did you? Wait. So how's the cake, one? It's good. It's moist. That's all I got. So it's nut and moist. Oh wow. Mm. <laughs> I did use both of those terms. <laughs> Christopher, can you introduce yourself for the people? Hey, I am Suave Alpha Omega. Nice to meet you. Period. Oh, okay. That's all. Thank I'm you. Yeah, <laughs> that's all I got. I'm tired. I haven't cooked this at all. All the way. You got the timing going. Let me see you. So you're trying out your food before us? Okay, great. Ah, he needs to, that's the disclaimer, you gotta make sure. Nate, how have you been enjoying your weekend? I'm having a great time with my food. So look at the food that Christopher has prepared. This is just a little sample. Turn that music down real quick. I gotta talk to Chris. Turn it down. Mm. So Christopher, how long have you been cooking? Cause this little spread is so beautiful. You know, I can't tell you how long because I might be giving my age, but just a couple years. Okay. I'm long enough to have it. Who taught you? My mom, my aunts, my uncle, my daddy, they all cook. Oh, all of them do? They all cook. So you like a true Southern person. Southern boots. <laughs> so man of Georgia, damn. What's in here? Oh, that's the pasta. That's yeah. over there. It feels so good to have here. So what do you, so uh, what's a day-to-day -day thing for you? So I get up, usually I travel for work, but when I'm in town, I like get up, do my skincare, wash, come down, check some work emails, like figure out my breakfast between like work and meetings and do that to the end of the day and you know, in the gym and start skincare and eat and chill out. And you love entertaining. <laughs> yeah, I love to entertain. I, I can tell. I can tell you're entertaining. Okay. <laughs> I love to entertain too, so I can't wait you to come up to visit me. I know, I know. I love having a company. I love cooking for people. I love like, introducing that side of myself to people, you know? Okay. So what thing are you going forward to looking to and bringing to Alpha Omega? This. Like, of course, like, you know, I want to be on the floor and, like, killing my category and all that, and I really want to do that. But, like, but like this, you know, like this. Family vibe, this closeness. Like, hopefully, be able to develop and continue that, and it can be like just a, a bigger representation of you know, how to make it the whole. So, thank you. So, from like, 
Give him a nine. We can work. We can work our way down. Bet. Wait, Marcus. 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 How long is your hair? Come here, because people need to see. You say no, they can see. How <laughs> hard <laughs> 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 you have to go? That's your real hair, right? Yeah, that's your real hair. Yeah. You, you see it? It's a. You, you see it? Start shaking the hair a lot. Marcus, let, I want them to get into the hang time. Let's see. <laughs> I'm just confused what happened. I don't know. Oh. Let it out. Why is everybody else hot? That's why y'all ball head don't you? <laughs> right. I am. <laughs> That's right. I am ball head. We can all get that for the nuggets too. So I don't know. It's okay. Margaret, let it out so we can get in. Yes, it is. It's okay. Yes, it is. Easy. Go ahead. You see it. Uh huh. Yes, yeah, you see it. That's brain hair. You see it. I don't see it. Right Are you blind? You need glasses? <laughs> You need glasses, you wish you was. Oh, I don't need glasses. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, he is so ready for it. She got butterfly a lot. Now she's feeling it. Okay. <laughs> Why she was feeling like that? What, what, what happened to your hair? I cut it off my choice. <laughs> you cut it off my choice. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, my choice, right? So you ain't got no hair, right? But I right, right, no, no, I answer my question. Real you ain't hair. got no hair, right? Real so hair. then you mind what's so on your hair and not over here. Yeah. <laughs> I just got the best. So what's your prayer? What would your prayer be, Marcus? Go ahead, Marcus. No, I don't understand now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. What would your prayer be, Marcus? Oh my God. Open oh, it up. Go ahead. Okay, yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Wait, we ain't even got everybody here. Okay. Yes, Marcus, you praying. Come on. Huh? Is that shrimp? Oh, and if I thought you said yeah. shrimp. It's a it's a seafood pasta that's um sweet potato. Uh, Which we not even pay some of them. Macaroni and cheese. That is collard greens, of course. And that's just like grilled chicken, and then that is like a honey jalapeno. Oh, it's probably really hot. I think. Uh, yeah. So, you said it's really like, hot. I'm glad you told me that. It's probably like really hot. Oh, like, hold on. I, I can't. Stand. I don't like spicy food. Oh, oh, what's the problem? Not that I don't like. I'm not trying. It might not be. I'm really hot. That's not what I'm about to say. I have a low tolerance. I have a very low tolerance. That's how they do it. It's too hot. They just get. You would have said it's mild. I would have said, eh, let me try yeah, it. It's probably more you mild. Took it down. So you like a yeah. so you let me know. And I'm a virgin. Very much. I don't want to be fucked. Not today. <laughs> she look good at what she... All right. Go, go ahead. Marcus is about to pray. Like, hey, <laughs> like, he just got his nails done. So I'm like... So mind you, I'm over here trying to pay it. I'm on the phone with... um. Bring us like, and you on the phone. Wait, and you on the phone. Bitch, disrespectful. So I'm on the phone with Brian. I want you. I'm like, I know this bitch ain't just got her come in here with makeup on, a lot of lip gloss, and then just freshly got a nice set on. Did he think of you? Huh? Did he think of you? Hold on, hold on. Oh shit! You gotta let me finish. So mind you, as I'm getting hair and everything, mind you. Okay, get my balls blinked and everything. So I'm, I'm trying my best to try to imagine that it's a boy. Why, why are you on the phone? Wait, because it was foolish. So mind you, so now, this man literally trying to like go down and rub on me. I'm like, I'm like, uh, uh-uh. he like, he like, so you don't, you don't like that? He said, can I get some dick? I'm like, can you get some what? Yes, yeah, dick. I'm looking at him like, bro. I'm like, I'm like, no, just, just keep going with the head. Then that's when mind you. Oh, what's up, Alphas? Uh, we outside, you know, we headed to the ball. I'm taking you guys in the mix with the fam. What's up, come on, in the mix. <laughs> we only have a rodeo rebel. Yeah, look at rodeo rebel, bro. What's up, brother? So, are oh. you walking today? Well, who are you first? For the people, <laughs> y'all know who I am. Hello, you know, face over here. Uh, yeah. You know, I don't like to talk about me much. You know, I just be doing my thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, you don't like talking about you? That's something new. Um, <laughs> what's happening tonight? Are you walking? Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm about to step in for the first time this year. So, yeah, I'm back. Okay. Yeah. And hello, Mr. 20K, hello. the Prince of Sex. How are you? Doing amazing. It's a great day outside. Are you walking tonight? No. 
Just here for a darn gone good time. A darn good time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, darn good time. And what's your name? I'm nobody. Uh, okay, that's what we're going to do. <laughs> oh, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to take an Uber home. <laughs> Damn her. Hey guys, we are inside this ball right now. Oh, look who it is. Look who's looking at me across the room. Hi, how are you? Hey, is he walking around with his own posting on the side? So here's the guy that's running the ball right now is Mike and Luna. So I'm gonna show you Luna in a second. Yeah, I just want to stop by and say hi to Uncle Mike real quick. You know, it's everybody's uncle. Hey friend. You voting today? No. You're not you're not having one of those? Yo Q. You voting tonight? Yeah. What's up? Are you voguing ish? Yes. You acting a little bit like a girl or all the way like a girl? A little bit like a girl. Okay, you <laughs> act all the way like a girl. Yeah, you already know. Like we, it's like it's kind of packed, not really. But we're just we're just waiting. Like I don't know. Yeah. Everyone kind of standing up waiting. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the ball. No. Guys, look who I just ran into. It's Tiana Ebony. She's so pretty, right? Like, just look at her face. She's the one who's always going live and saving our lives so we can watch the ball. As yes. oh while we're on Facebook at home, we can't be at the ball all the time. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, she. Can well, keep... we we have them here now, so I don't have to do it today. I have a break. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You still gonna be behind a Jeff Stanley kick? Okay? Yeah. Unless you gonna make us all laugh tonight, like always. Yeah. Awesome. Right. I love. It. I love. It. <laughs> That Luna looking super sharp. <laughs> yeah, that's why I caught you on the vlog camera. It's nice to see you at the bottom of there. And my game. Of course, of course, of course. So we ready for our trip? Hi. Okay, guys. What's up? Welcome back to more of the Alpha episode. We're about to go check on Sade. See how she's doing. She's right behind this door. Sade. Oh, who's this pretty princess behind this hair? Uh oh. There she is. <laughs> Alright, I'll record the side of you. I'll record the side of you so you're not too much. How do you how do you are you sure? Yeah. You look really good. Thank you. How do you feel? I feel great. I'm about to get back on the floor. I feel like a month. Yeah. It's been a month. Yeah, it's been just over a month because last time we walked uh, was the coldest winter. So now I look at you, girl. So you're hundred percent confident. It's in the bag for you tonight. Okay. I love to see it. I love to hear it too. Here is a lovely makeup artist right here. I'm not doing makeup. Oh. oh. <laughs> Hairstylist, right, 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 right. So no makeup, just the hairstylist. Uh, my name is Shade. Shade? Your, Sh your name is Shade as well. <laughs> so yes, I was like Shade's twin. Yes, but the hairstylist. All right, they're killing it either, so I'm gonna leave them to it, and I'll see you guys. Well, we're gonna, I'm gonna record you actually when you go to the club. You're out there. I love it. You love it. I do. Yeah, giving bouncy curls. I love it. Yeah, I don't want to touch it too much. Uh. <laughs> you record me. How do you feel about tonight? I feel very excited. I mean, honestly, this video is really nice. Yeah. It's like, it's Are you like, ready to make a moment? I'm here to make a moment. Honestly. It's a big ass venue. You gotta bring that. Like I have to point the camera upwards. I don't wow. need to see that. 
Yeah. I'm so excited to see you back on the floor. It's been a long time. You haven't been on the floor since November. Everybody's wondering, what are you going to do tonight? How are you going to bring it? Oh, I'm here. You already know. I'm yeah. Like, call before the store. All right. It's only the first appointments of the year, so I got the whole rest of the year to go. Yeah. And I already know I'm coming back. I love it. As long as I got my fresh shot, I can get people. Oh, yeah. Kind of Without a doubt. Oh, no. I love you. Love you Have fun tonight. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Yeah. What were you saying about Tense? Oh, no, no, no. Tense Magazine was asking me something. Sorry. Shade, Tense Magazine wants to take a photo with you because you look gorgeous, of course. Yeah. So they're right behind me. So how do you feel about your win tonight? Great. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'll be happy. <laughs> That's what's up. Yeah. Of course, the prince was right there with you in open arms helping you. Okay, we got the Empress Lindsay. Hi. We got the Princess Sade. Hi. We got <laughs> oh, we got Psychopath in the back. He got his glasses on. Okay, mm -hmm. we got the Mella. Okay, we go. We'll take we'll take the, the ladies first, of course. Then we'll go to the gentlemen. Um, Lindsay, how you felt about tonight? Tonight was cute, a little light, light, you know. Got you out the house. Yeah. Okay, the venue mm -hmm. was definitely nice. We were with the Return of the Shade Fest ball. Yes. Okay, and Princess, congratulations, Grand Prize from Thank Queen Faze. 
Thank you. Okay. What made you like? What made you decide to walk tonight? What got you out there for this category? Um, the unpainted category. When they post the unpainted, I feel like they're talking to me. Oh, it says something about that. Yeah. Okay. What What do you like about it? Um. I just feel like it's love you, Lynn. Bye. I love you. Text me when you get home. Okay, I will. All right. Um. Sorry. What was the question? <laughs> what is it about that unpainted category? You look gorgeous right now, though. Thank you. <laughs> um, I feel like, for me, I feel like it's 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 like, I feel like they're requesting me when they ask for the unpainted because there aren't any other girls from my generation that's able to really walk unpainted. So I just feel like it's a great, a great opportunity for me to show that. Oh, is that a challenge you sending out to the girls? Like, let all of y'all come out because you know they're going down. Okay. Who were some girls you know from yesteryear that you know was definitely washed face or unpainted? Coco Chanel. Oh yes, Miss Coco. I always hear like I, I always hear like comparisons to her. Like the first time I heard that was like the Mugler Ball in mm. 2019. Mm. Saying that. Yeah, that look she that that look you had was very reminiscent of the Revlon Ball yeah. 97. Yeah. And of course, you know Ayana. Oh, without a doubt. Without a doubt. Okay, and we, well, let's take it to the baby prince in the back. Okay, hey, hello. <laughs> Hi. Okay, Mello, they got you a little earlier. Now we're here now. Congratulations, grand prize, which we face tonight. You. you was the groom in all black, wearing all the what? Groom. I feel like. That well, wait, wait, what were you wearing? Shout out, shout out. All black, and that was my perfect. Well, character. you put a shout out. You designed the wealthy, the wealthy guy. Yes, he designed the outfit, and so yes, you look immaculate. Man. The outfit looked amazing. I feel like I looked amazing. <laughs> and it was really, really good night. It was just amazing all around for you. Okay, well, you know, got to always love the confidence. And, um, hey, back there, SP, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Okay, it's nighttime, you got shades on, how are you feeling? Yeah, that light is blinding me. Yeah, <laughs> did you enjoy the function? I did. Yeah, it was a little short and sweet, but to the point, right? They did some history lessons on the mic, right? I'm glad, you know, um, Sade and um, Mellow brought it tonight. Good yes. Thank you. Also, shout out to Kitten, shout out to Onyx, shout they did their Kitten, thing. Onyx. Yes, sir. Shout out to Mikey. He walks street. Uh, he walks sneaker versus sneaker. Yeah. Shout mm-hmm. out to the peoples. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, we got it a fun. Looks so good. Yeah. Oh, you, know, you know, kittens is D body. D A B O D Y. Yeah. She looks so good in that blonde hair. Oh my goodness. Okay. What you looking for tomorrow, um, Shade? On a Sunday. Ooh, uh, sun- uh. Oh my God. I'm such a foodie. Like, <laughs> my favorite thing to do is eat. And so. Oh, so now she feel like she got to uh, c- congratulate herself with some food. Yeah. I'm excited. It's a full full menu tomorrow. I want some all right, well, thank you, Princess. Good job. You did great. You look great and all the good shit. Thank you. Well, what do we have here? <laughs> How am I going to say this for this, for this alpha episode? This is Lindsay, the empress. Hi, everyone. The treasurer, the secretary, the bookkeeper, the confidant, um, longtime friend, family member. I love everyone. So, Lynn, uh, we're also celebrating her 40th birthday, you know. Yes, 40. <laughs> I like it. Fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> Are you 50 yet, Lindsay? I am 50. Well, congratulations. A monster. Do you feel 50? Do you feel 50? No. Some days, though, right? <laughs> so, Lindsay, how do you feel? Um, you've been an alpha since um, the beginning. Mm-hmm. How, how do you feel about the progression of the house? How do you feel about the members and... Mm-hmm. What we created, what we're doing, what do you feel? Okay, um, oh wow, that's a loaded question. <laughs> um, I'm actually, well, I actually feel good about the progression of the house um, as an organization. I am really proud of everyone that is a part of this house. Um, it's been a kind of long and winding road. Ballroom is not easy, but um, the relationships that we've built are invaluable. And a big part of everyone's success, I really believe that. Um, A large part of the success is due to the love we exude in this house. It's different from other houses, I already know that. Because it's genuine, it's not think it's really what exists and i'm so proud of that and that's the part that i really relish um while being a member 
Thank you. That was beautifully said. Thank you. That was very well said. <laughs> it's a good time with that answer. <laughs> okay, I have one question. What's the hardest thing dealing with ballroom, I mean, in a house that is like, especially in your role? Oh my gosh. Um, she gonna play. Dude! That is a known worldwide ballroom thing. So, one thing we all share is the dude situation. I don't think that every house talks about it, every house deals with it. The dudes. 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 You know, you don't want to harass the people, you know, but then you have to harass the people and then they wear you out, you know. Yeah. I don't harass. Even though she be over them. <laughs> I'm always over it. Because <laughs> I want everything to run seamlessly and everything can't be perfect all the time and it's a lot... Even though we're a small house, it's still a lot to keep up with, mm -hmm. you know? So, when I need muscle, and I actually, call in the muscle. That actually, it's one of the things that makes me not ever want to even have a big house because of those little things. Like, I couldn't oh even imagine chasing after 200 people. I could not even imagine. I don't know how they do it. I don't. Well, Lizzie, thank you for your love and contribution. I love you, and I I'm love so you happy too. to be here today. I, uh, listen, I, I'm a, we could, we're going to talk about that in the next oh, half no. episode. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, well. well mm -hmm. Welcome <laughs> Welcome home. Hello, hello. What's up, Sean? Oh. Hey, you guys. Wait, who's up here? This is a... <laughs> we got a... It's Easter Sunday. We got King Mother Montclair. 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 <laughs> visiting. The office, baby. Especially this one right here. Oh, what happened? Uh, so we were supposed... He asked me when I got here uh, last night, you know, oh, are we going to collaborate on making greens and mashed potatoes? But there was no collaboration. I did all the work. No. All he did was stir it and buy it. That's not true. Well, collaboration to Kayla means just that he was there and he paid a couple dollars toward it. I bought it. I bought it in. You what? Say it again? You bought it? You sound like you was from Boston, bitch. You said, I bought it. I bought it. I brought it in. Oh. And then we discussed ingredients together. What was it? Wait, wait, wait. So what was the process, Caleb? How did you cook it? Which process? To make the um, make both things. The. Well, we were discussing it while everything was going quick. <laughs> so it, I, you know, I can't remember exactly, but everything's like was quick. What was the what was the process? Everything was going quickly, so I won't, I wouldn't be able to recount the process per se. Oh. But I can speak to the quality of it, and I I um, contributed. How long that. have you loved collard greens for? Uh, my whole life. Yeah, could you always ask for it? I can't cook it, but always ask for it. <laughs> I like to collaborate. Which means he likes to buy it, and then yeah, you cook it. That's the crazy thing is, he can actually cook. Oh, look at the princess! Look, wait, first of all, princess, you look like a little mermaid over Don't there, girl. Me. You look like a mermaid, girl. I, I'm not just. <laughs> <laughs> Shelly, come over here, girl. Don't she? Look, she look all teeny on that floor, bitch. You gonna tuck her under the couch, bitch. Look, look, don't you love? She's such an actress, though. My girl got up and she made sure she had put the, the ass out first in no, the back. Didn't. Like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't. Lauren, how are you, Lauren? I'm great. Huh? They have, I love, you know, I always love the Alpha episode to show you in your regular element just so oh, they can know. God. Just so they can know. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you we, well, they have not, well, we have not gotten to talking to the princess in a minute. How are you feeling? Do you think it's great? Yes, yeah, she's right in front of her. You see how yeah. shot it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So Lauren, last time we saw uh, they saw any we, coldest winter. Mm -hmm. Give them the process. How you felt about your walk? How you everything? Tell them how you felt. Oh my god, do I have to? Yeah, you gotta give them the little process. I give them a little you. behind the scenes. What went on? The whole thing. Um. Start with your dress. Okay, so we. I feel like this just keeps happening. Well, just tell they them about it. Know. Well, wait, put it on me and her. Let me, let me, let me, let me say this mm -hmm. for people that don't know. We're going to give you a little behind the scenes. So, Sade told, wanted to walk this category since the beginning of it, right? So, right? Mm -hmm. She would discuss partners and who would be great. Mm -hmm. So, Sade, you know, for those, you know, she's very feminine, must say. So, she wanted to walk with somebody that was, like, masculine. masculine. Mm -hmm. She wanted to walk with somebody that, you know, she wanted to have, like, a just position. So, you know, she's vanilla creamy. So, she's like, you know what? I want somebody chocolate or brown skin. I'm Peanut butter, caramel. I'm gonna I never see peanut butter. Okay, sunflower. This is peanut butter. <laughs> Sun it's not peanut butter. Uh, not peanut butter. Sesame oil. Not that. My girls. Wait, wait. My girls. That, that okay. If that was peanut butter. I would throw it out, girl. I'm like, what kind of oh. shit? This sunflower butter. What's they sunflower? It's caramel. It's caramel. Almond butter. It's, car it's caramel. Almond butter. Okay, caramel. We can do caramel. Right. So, Miss <laughs> Carmel over here. 
So, you know, we was going through some names, right? We were thinking of some people. Then, you know, we're like Jaden Garcon, you know what I'm saying? Very masculine, very attractive, beautiful man. So, you know, reached out pretty much from jump. They doing it. Yeah. So, for once, for those of you know, I'm saying in front of us. She's a very funny girl when it comes to these balls. You know, she goes left thinking about shit. But she was like, okay, so this is really from... I feel jazzed. It's the truth. She was planning what she was going to do months ago. She had sent me a tonight photo, eating it photos, slamming, over. We gave her some advice, a couple alterations to do to make it more her own. Yeah. Boom. You know what? I may include it in this video so y'all can see mm -hmm. what happened. Mm -hmm. So, first of all, we love the designer. He's amazing. Yeah. They have a great relationship. They now do. Shout out to Lim Paz. For those that know, they know. So, the material came from Dubai, so she was waiting, waiting on that, but she was trying not to be nervous because she knows, like, okay, because Abdul always come through. Finally gets there. The material was beautiful. The fabric was so Gorgeous. beautiful, but it wasn't white. Let me tell you, well, it was white. It was white. But it had, like, too much so, silver. So, what happened was, we got to include the little thing on how the dress. So, it's the one beautiful. that came, when it came, y'all, when they was doing it, bitch, it was... Breathtaking. Yeah. It took him like a week and a half. Over. But when and I seen it. Out overnight when that fabric right. came. What did they? Because they had to do a lot of because hand work. It got stuck in customs. It was in customs for like damn near a month. It was, it was, a, it was a lot. It was so, but when she sent it to me, it was too much silver. So I said, girl, I'm going to be honest with you. The category is all white. I don't want them to try you. And then I can't override that because you know, I don't want them to say no favoritism. She even know you're going to say this shit any fucking way. But, so... Just like three, four days before, because you would get, because there was a lot of silver, you know, embellishment, embellishment, a lot. Still beautiful, but we was like, no. So she told him, he gagged. So he made her another dress. He's like, well, let me go look something like what Whitney got married. You know, let me go something different. Or as long as it's all white at this point and it looks good on me, I don't got no time for no bullshit. But I still wanted it to like. I still wanted it to be like a corseted dress. Like, I wanted my body to be like corseted into <clears throat> the gown. And mm -hmm. that's why I couldn't really move. The way you wanted to. Yeah, because mm -hmm. it was too tight. I didn't realize how tight it was going to end up being. And mm -hmm. when I went back for my last fitting, I couldn't try it on because it was still like wet. Some of the was stones it? hadn't dried. Oh, yeah, from it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, okay, dateable, you know, shot it. So, it was just so many things. She was already in her head and her mind. Who's going to do the makeup? You know, she always got an issue with people with glam. Issues as far as like Sade, as y'all can see, and this is no cap, she's a beautiful girl without makeup. Beautiful. To me, she doesn't need a lot. But it was still 25000 so she wanted to make sure that the mug was giving, like, okay, she didn't do the cup bare face, bitch, with a lash and a lip, talking about, hey, I'm here. Yeah, I so, would have rather, though, but not for twenty five. Yeah, you would have rather. You know, I think, but even with that, I think you need, like, the right person. You got to make up all this stuff. Jason will tell you, right? It still needs to be the person that knows how to do that. You know what I think people go wrong with you at? I don't think you need foundation. Mm -hmm. You just don't. I think they need to more focus on like, you get what I'm saying, Jason? Like, she got skin. Like, like yeah. light coverage. Mm -hmm. Very light. You know, but I think that people also get very happy with her face. It's like, bitch, let's have a good time. It's beautiful. You know, it's funny because at the Lambin Bar when I did her makeup, everybody would thought I used so much stuff, but I did not use a lot of makeup on her. Mm -hmm. But I know like people that, oh, she was beat down. She was it? Well, anyway. We wasn't talking about it. We wasn't going to put it on Jason. Y'all already at my girl, so we wasn't going to put it on. Me for weeks, John. So anyway, so she got the makeup done earlier. Like, so when I finally see her for the ball, when I finally see her come out, I'm gonna be honest with y'all, y'all. Love it down. I'm gonna make. I gagged. My girl was rouge. She was blush. But you know, one thing about Shetty, she's very still beautiful. So I'm looking in her mug. I'm like, I'm gonna make. I said, but this is just too much motherfucking rude. I feel like you were protecting my energy in that moment. Mm -hmm. I feel like um, you didn't want to like affect my energy in that moment. But I wish you did. You wish I would have said no? Hell no. I wish you did. I feel. Yeah. Well, girl, let me. Well, I, we're getting there. Me and Shetty have a very unusual relationship. So me personally, I wanted to be like, bitch, what in the fuck? And I, we just, see, with me and my other girls, we've got so much long history, y'all. I want to get to the place, but I think that we, I feel like with Shadi, right? We can if Shadi just puts the shit to the side. But if she puts her feelings to the side, she'll know where I'm coming from. Like, I we, never had, um, I never had, like, a strong relationship with my father figures. Um, my relationship with my biological father, he died in 99. And so, um, I had my stepfather, but my stepfather was, like, always out working 24-7. 
that we never really had an opportunity to connect in that way. So this is actually my first experience having a paternal figure, like a, a closer relationship um, with a paternal figure. And it's it's been a journey because... I've been disowned about 14 times, y'all. I'm a very, like... Right now, she's really my little sister, y'all. That's a little sis right now. That's really supposed not, to be a secret. <laughs> well, now they know. But she's still doing it. But you know what I'm saying. But, but like, I'm really an alpha at heart. Like, I am an alpha. And it's hard for me to take... Like, it's hard for me to... That's an Aquarius, baby. Yeah, because, like, my mind is always going. You know what I'm saying? I'm always in my head. I'm always thinking about what's next, you know? So, I'm, an ass I'm just naturally... I'm assertive. I'm not aggressive. But I'm assertive, and if someone takes that role, then I'll give you that. You know what I mean? And I can t I can step back, you know. But you have to take it. But with my father, it there is no like, no no taking it or not. Like he's just like, oh, bitch, this is what what it is. You know what I mean? I've always had a great relationship so, with my girls. Always for that's years. like a culture shock for me. Like um, I've never. So in that moment, I did want to protect, and I also was like, I'm gonna keep it real with y'all, like. I think anybody knows, like, y'all walk balls, so y'all know, like, it kind of was like, well, bitch, what do I do, what do you do now, right? It's like, kind of like, girl, make it work, bitch, sell the fuck out of it. Um, I still think that she looked beautiful. That's the thing I want to make sure, like, she looked beautiful to me, like, when I was looking at her face, but the rouge was carrying, bitch. And with the headpiece being annoying, all you seeing is the rouge, it gave, like, it was like, it was overpowering. Yeah, somebody said, like, you were skinned, bitch, when they said that I was done. Um, <laughs> but, um, you know, it was what it was. What I loved about it was it was Shadi's birthday for those that may not have known. So it was a key to me because it was her birthday, but she actually wasn't in like good spirits about everything. I think that you've got to the point where you're like, girl, it is what it is when it comes to this. Like, you I'm good. Like, you was kind of, yeah, and I think you got to know, like, it was a risk from the jump for you. You know, you never, like, you never even said, like, other times Shadi would say to me, oh, I'm going to win. I don't really recall you saying that to me for this one. Well, this one I was just happy to be a part of. It yeah, you did say that to me. Five thousand, mm. it was going to be history. So I was just like, yeah, because honestly, I can't remember one time this time where you said, "Oh, I know, I'm going to win." I'm, you, I didn't really, I, but I know you was happy to be there. A part, yeah, of the yeah. situation. So for me, that's that. But for me, to me, Sade, and this is my feeling. If she wasn't in my house, if I didn't know the bitch, none of that. Real talk, I think she's one of the prettiest girls there is, and I'm just saying that shit. Especially, I've been out a long time, since 97. I've seen a lot of girls. A lot of girls, thank God, are here. I've seen girls that are unfortunately not here anymore. So to me, Shade gives me like yesteryear. Right, Jason? Mm -hmm. Yesteryear. With a little bit of them today, but to me, if she was in, to me, I hate to say that she's in the wrong time, but. But she was in that, like two eras before. Oh. Everybody said it was supposed to be here in the 90s. Oh, most yeah, definitely. Most definitely. You know, I think, the 90s. I think they would have appreciated you more. I think they would have understood, understood you more. Mm -hmm. And I think and that, then I would have been able to walk without makeup more. Uh, of course, because, you know, that was, you know, but, um, but do you think if, like, for regular categories when they aren't calling for unpainted, and do you think if I were to walk without makeup that I would be received well? Or do you I think, think it's a catch-22. Do you think they would be it's, like, I think, that, I think that if you just, I mean, it's a catch-22. If you just sit and you just sit and yeah. that's just what it is. You have to be unpainted. I think it really depends. But I also think, you know, this day and age, it depends on his pan on these panels. You know, they may be really wanting high glam that night. Right, because if you could, if you were bringing in for a seven thousand dollar category or a ten thousand dollar category, then they're definitely going to want. You to yeah, but I've seen the, I, I've seen clips of balls where Renee came to the ball in the tank yeah. top and a pair of jeans. Yeah. <laughs> And, and slaughtered. the ball and slaughtered everybody. In I mean, look at yeah. Cheyenne. All them girls had on gowns and all type of thing. And Cheyenne had on a fucking white cat bitch with a pair, pair of blue jeans, and yeah. she bitch went through all the gowns. Mm -hmm. I mean. But we're also in a different time. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I think that because, you know, people spend a lot of money on looks, they want to see, like, okay, bitch, I want to see what you spent. Mm -hmm. And if we're going to give you this amount of money, we want to see that we're rewarding you for the effort that you put in. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, I think that the beauty, just the thing. But, I mean, I think, I think that, that one thing I noticed with you, everybody knows you're beautiful. They feel you, but I think that they just want more from you. But I think now you, I think that you have to keep on just kind of, like, forging your own path. Mm -hmm. Like, I think that, you should take the pressure out of it, like, instead of walking, like, the big money category. Like, when you feel and want to, yes, of course. But if it's something like last night, other things coming up, do it. You know, like, I mean, you had a personal talk about it. But just yeah. do it and just yeah. see how it goes and take yeah. it from there. And take that pressure part out of it. Mm -hmm. And when you really want to walk one of those and give one of those, then you do that. Yeah. I, I don't think that every girl, not even every, like that, every participant is meant to only walk 
these big cash prizes for a certain but I think there's some better than Okay, Prince, what are you doing? How you doing for the people? Hello, I am um, deleting. <laughs> <laughs> so you're almost doing like a pulled pork situation, right? Yes, getting all the meat off. And then what are you going to do after that? Then I'm going to make a gravy. Okay. What, what, well, who taught you how to make gravy, you know, for the people? My father. So oh, oh, did I? You did. Oh, I don't even remember, but yeah. <laughs> Is um, this flour? Uh, is it flour? He... He will... Is he wanted flour? to be the star, right? No! No, I just no, wanted it just flour. And, and, wait, wait, wait. Actually, Curry, I taught you how to make how many gravies? Two. No? No, I taught you how to make a mushroom gravy. Oh, yeah. I taught you how to... You know, you made quite a few. No, you... Don't. And your gravies don't break, do they? No. Like, they don't... Uh, or you can reduce. You can no, they don't. Reduce the, okay. <laughs> I didn't know that. It's tasty. Caleb always try. It's just flour, right? No, no. Just, it's just flour. It's just flour. Hey, hey, queen mother. Right. Look pretty. Well, that's another bitch that know how to make a gravy too. Don't let her just sleep. Oh, really? I can love her food. No, really. Don't do me. Don't do me, brother. Don't do that. Never you, never you never had. You never had. You never had. <laughs> you know what he needs. You know what he needs from you. You know what he needs from you. He needs your lamb because you know he loves lamb. He would be. Not, not you're a lamb girl. I mean, I can do it. How are you getting it? I like to do it. I don't want it well done. Medium would be great. Yeah. Misha knows how, she knows how to cook lamb, but a sandwich. I can do it. Misha, you want you want the sandwich? He wants it on a sandwich. And then a little. Oh, it's not like you want to go buy it. Lollipop. Yeah. Oh yeah. Sounds like you want to go buy a gyro. Pork is the only meat that you have to cook slowly. Chicken and fish. And fish. Not all the raw fish. You they do, but you're not supposed. to. You're not supposed to. Why? A lot of shit. Why? Mercury poisoning, uh, oh, yeah. all type of different stuff. Like, there are some fish that you cannot eat raw. Yeah. You're just not supposed to. I didn't even know that. You thought all fish you could eat raw? I didn't really think about it. Listen. Ooh. That's the juicy part. You know how to squeeze a turkey, Kyrie. <laughs> Thank you, Queen Mother, for the salad. The fresh salad. And the veggies. The veggies oh, oh everyone likes that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you ain't have none. I, I didn't go to my second. You know what? Please, have some. My girl, have some my girl has some freezer veggies, and now she's feeling Doesn't real cute. Doesn't have freezer veggies. <laughs> okay. Excuse me, I have some chocolate. So I know that I'm just 
We should tell Thank you. It's asparagus and it's string cherries and broccoli and like a when, what else is in there? When you were in jail, they taught you how to make that? You know what? I mean, you. I'm, I'm <laughs> <laughs> you said what? The rainbow carrots. Why are you? <laughs> Hello, passengers. It's Pilot Uda on the plane. <laughs> That's her pilot outfit. You have to look at her. <laughs> See? <laughs> Hey guys, we're about to touch base. Is that Sanaya? Oh my god, my co-pilot. Hey Sanaya, let them know how high we are in the sky, y'all. Uh. Oh, <laughs> what? Bitch, we are about to land on motherfucking Shade Beautiful Island. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are. Space oh <laughs> Island. Oh. Everybody's so excited here. Oh. Yes. <laughs> don't, don't. Uh, late as always. Don't show up. Whoa, sit back. Is, <laughs> I need to Johnny come late. You got to say the best for last. We was You got to say the best for last. Next time I say dinner's at 12. <laughs> at 12? That's early. Um. I think I call it brunch. As soon as y'all get to leave. Knowing y'all won't get here till dinner time. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god. I'm being attacked. Hey, Rachel, we don't get you enough in alpha episodes, so I gotta, I gotta use whatever time I can. I'm going to do Wait, hold on. Wait, what? Help. 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 What you gonna do? Pop him like get pop like you always get popped. I popped him before he left last night. Kyrie, don't 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 put him on down. Cause see, oh uh, yeah, you better stay over there. Cause you trying to make him. That's how embarrassing you are. How would you embarrass you? Wait, Kyrie, Kyrie on national TV. He said they watch. He said they watch the Alpha episodes, boo. Yo, they gonna be like, no, you got dragged again. No, not the sex song. He he can't fight. Like, you got somebody back him up. Can I pop you too? I love you damn, but you can pop too. I'm totally going to hurt you. Sure, handle that. I mean, that we don't put our hands on women. Exactly. Yeah. But yeah. Can't, can't, can't she, went, she did it kind of. She did it. She did it. I ain't even do that. Can't let nobody touch your arm on you. You too. Listen. But wait, wait. Ken did a mad stuff. She was like, <laughs> can't do it. She can't do that. See, that's fine. Ken, Ken did it with a loving hand. I don't, I don't, I don't want you to get the Natalie beat down. So oh, 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 o